In court today, a woman accused in an alleged scheme to steal $1.3 million from the state's unemployment benefit system. Well, new at 4 o'clock, ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner says the DA's office believes that she and two others took the personal information from more than 60 inmates to defraud the government. Appearing in court by video from the Las Colinas Women's Jail Tuesday, Marichelle Marquez. The judge ordered the face not be shown of the 34-year-old who's charged in connection to a massive unemployment benefits fraud scheme, according to the DA's office. Marquez's attorney entered her plea of not guilty during the arraignment. Well, enter a not guilty plea, deny any special allegations. The DA's office said that she and two others, 34-year-old Ryan Kubista and 61-year-old Stacy Wright, filed fraudulent claims to get more than $1.3 million in illegal payouts last year. They reportedly used the personal information of at least 64 inmates to fraudulently get EDD unemployment benefits. California prison inmates are not eligible to get those benefits benefits. According to the DA, they applied for and received EDD Bank of America debit cards in the inmates' names, then had the cards and EDD benefits mailed to their homes in Escondido or PO boxes in North County so the cash could easily be withdrawn. The charges for the trio include grand theft and forgery, among other counts. If convicted, they could face up to 12 years in prison. In January, the DA charged nine prisoners who allegedly scammed the EDD out of more than $160,000. They were reportedly serving the remainder of their sentences in a halfway house, where restaurant meals and luxury items from Amazon were being delivered, which tipped off investigators. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News. Marquez's next hearing is scheduled for May 10th. Kubista will likely be arraigned on Friday. Wright is out on bail.